Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You are watching the Evie's Queen and hope you guys are doing amazing and it's another beautiful day. We're going to talk about a Chinese Evie brand today. And because you know Chinese EVs are ruling the world right now. They are producing a lot of EVs like a lot of different brands and batteries and in top 20 brands who sold the most evs most of them are chinese brands it's amazing for them and for everyone because chinese evs are cheap so what are we gonna talk about today li auto li auto l9 is a new chinese range extender suv so another suv we already talked about it but here are some new updates on it new spy shots of the upcoming li auto l9 previously known by its code name x01 the l9 is the new flagship of the li auto brand it will debut on the beijing auto show next month it is only the second car of li auto after the li one so it every Everyone is having big anticipations about it. An interesting slide from an internal presentation of Lee Auto showing a comparison between the L9 slash X01 and some very expensive imported cars including the Range Rover, the Mercedes-Benz GLS 450 and the BMW X7 X-Drive 40i. From the presentation and various other sources, we know quite a few specifications of the Lee Auto L9. The size is 5200 1998 slash 1800 with a 3105 millimeter wheelbase the range extender powertrain consists of a 1.5 liter four-cylinder direct injection gasoline turbocharged engine with miller cycle combustion the auto claims a thermal efficiency of 40 percent this engine is mated to an electric drive motor and a 44.5 kilowatt hour battery pack System output is 408 horsepower and 600 newton meters. Good for a 0 to 100 in just under 6 seconds. Pure electric range is 155 kilometers WLTC. Full tank capacity is 65 liters and the combined range is 800 kilometers. The Liato L9 will have L4 autonomous driving capabilities. Price for all this pretty will be about 5 500.000 it means 500 yuan or 79.160 us dollars pie shots of the interior with a large combined screen for the infotainment and the passenger a smaller screen for the instrument panel and other screen on steering wheel the latter is most interesting some chinese media say this screen will only be used for control of the voice control system and that it won't have any touch screen capabilities. The screen is truly gigantic, not only wide, seen that before in other cars but very tall as well. It also seems to have a smart camera mirror. The air vents under the screen looks tiny and almost fragile. The Li Auto L9 will be available with 6 and 7 seat configurations. The company is also developing a full electric version. Earlier, we understood that the range extender version and the EV would be launched at the same time. However, it now seems the range extender will launch first, followed by the EV at, at a later time. It makes some sense as the Li One is also a range extender and the company isn't making any EVs yet. That is it for today. Thank you for watching the video and We'll see you again in the next one. Goodbye.